here are five questions that you should ask your IT professionals. Question number one, who outside of your company can log in? Find out who are the vendors, who are the consultants, anybody. Who is it that your domain administrator has set up in the system? You can ask them to show you. There's a window that says here is everybody who's able to get in. And sometimes one of the members that can get in is a group of people. So you need to go in and say, hey, who's a member of that group? You may be surprised how many people can authenticate into your system. Are their accounts disabled until they need in? So if you have consultant ABC, if consultant ABC is not going to be in for the next few days, you want to disable that consultant's account. That way, if an attacker has the username and password that consultant uses, then the attacker is not going to be getting in because the consultant's account is disabled. Are their accounts set up to automatically expire? What that means is if you have company DEF going to consult for you and they're supposed to be working for a week, your domain administrator can open up that account for vendor DEF and set the account to expire, for example, 10 days later. Then nobody has to remember anything. You don't have to do anything. 10 days later, that vendor's account will just expire and they won't be able to get in. More importantly, attackers will not be able to get in if they steal the vendor's username and password. Sometimes it's important to ask IT in the past six months, how many times did that particular vendor actually need to log in? Because it's real easy to lose track of time. Sometimes IT professionals will think, you know what, that person needs in every couple weeks. But you go and pull the logs, you may find that that company has only logged in once in the past six months. It just makes it even easier to decide, yes, we definitely want to lock this user out when they don't need to be in. Then the last question is, ask IT, do we give them a new password every time we enable their account? So if you have company XYZ connect to your network, you give them a password, you set it to automatically expire, and it does. And then company XYZ comes back two months later and does some more work, you need to give company XYZ a brand new password. So that way, if there was an attacker, anyone who learned the username and password for that customer, now the username and password has just changed and the attacker is not going to be able to get into your account. Very important to follow all these. For more IT best practices, come visit the website fosterinstitute.com.